Hi everyone, Matt James here. Welcome to another guitar tutorial and today I am going to show you how to play the Kate Bush classic Running Up That Hill, which is very much in uh, the consciousness I think of a lot of people at the moment because it featured very prominently in Stranger Things Season 4, so a lot of people uh, I think have just discovered it actually, uh, which is brilliant it's such a great song, it's one I've always loved. It's uh, from 1986 originally. Yeah, great tune, so I thought I'd teach you how to play it, and I'm going to teach you a slightly sort of different, more acoustified, finger-picky version, because the original is very, very synth-heavy, in fact I don't think there are any guitars in it at all, so I thought I'd do a, a slightly sort of different arrangement. It's in the same key uh, as the original, so you can play along with the original. We've got capo on third fret today, standard tuning, so you don't need to worry about any tuning differences. Uh, so it might not be for everyone this, because I have, I have made it a bit more like folky, um, so if that's not your bag, that's totally fine, but the version that I've done is sort of my own acoustic version. But anyway, without further ado, if you're interested in that version, I have done another uh, video with me playing this as a cover, so if you want to see what that's like first, then you're very welcome to, to get the structure and the arrangement, etc. Um, but if you want to learn this on the guitar, then keep watching. So without further ado, we'll get to a close-up and I'll show you how to play it. Okay, so as I say, we're cap at the third fret, standard tuning. And there's not that many chords in this actually, so it's quite a good one again if you're sort of just getting into finger picking or you're just getting started on the guitar. There's not that many chords, so we've got A minor, F, G, E minor, and then there's a D minor in it as well at one point. But that's it, so I'll teach you the finger picking pattern first. If you watched my video on the Gambler before, that like I did a few weeks ago, it's exactly the same finger picking pattern as that. If you haven't watched that, I'm going to show you how to do it now, but if you're already familiar with this finger picking pattern, feel free to skip on. But the picking pattern we are looking at goes like this. And to achieve that, all we're doing, so we're on an A minor to start with, I hasten to add that for all the chords we play, you're playing the exact same pattern. But in this particular example, we're on an A minor, so you want your thumb to be playing the A string, or the fifth string, to start with, and then you want your thumb, your first finger, and your second finger to be playing the D, G, and B string all at the same time, so like this. So to start with, that's... And then your thumb is going back to the A string. So to start with slowly, that's... And then, your second finger is playing the B string, your thumb is playing the D string, and then your first finger is playing the G string. So again, slowly, that's... And then we put that all together very slowly, it's... it nice and slow and then at speed it sounds like this so again practice doing that it's really good just to make sure you get your fingers to sort of get used to to where they're supposed to go again just do it as slowly as you need to don't go too fast to start with as tempting as that is sometimes uh, yeah just go nice and slowly until you're really happy with that pattern and then you can move on to doing the different chords so as I say we're starting with an A minor, then it goes to an F, and now you don't have to play a full F here if you don't want to, because I don't, because there's no need. You can bar it if you want to, and if you wanted to play with your thumb the root note of that F, you can do, you could go. Sounds perfectly fine, but if you want to make life a little bit easier for yourself, you can play an F major 7 chord, but just without playing the F major 7. You will play an F major 7 in a bit, but I'll talk about that later. But right now we're not playing one. So same pattern, but you're just playing an F, so you want your third finger on the third fret, again relative to the capo, but third fret of the A string, the fifth string, then you want your little finger directly below it, still on the third fret on the D string. Then we've got our second finger on the second fret of the G string, and finally we've got our first finger on the first fret of the B string. So sounds like that. And all we're playing are those four strings. So the same picking pattern that I just showed you with the A minor. So and you're still on the A string. So again, that's A minor to, uh, to F. then it's a G, and again you don't need to play a full G here, all you need, because you're just playing 
really these three strings on your root note, which is the G here. So I've got my third finger on the third fret of the bottom E string, the sixth string. So I'm playing that, and again, then I've got my thumb, first finger, and second finger playing those three strings again, the D, G, and B string, which... Then you're going back to an A minor. Then it goes to an E minor. Again, same pick picking pattern, but this time playing the open E string, the sixth string. But always playing those three strings with your three, three fingers, the D, G, and B. Uh, you'll pretty much be playing always those throughout the, the whole song. Then there is a time where you're playing slightly differently, but I will let you know when that happens. So verse-wise, obviously it does the intro. F, G, A minor, back to F, G, back to A minor again. So that's your intro. So then for the verse, same thing, but then we add an E minor at the end. So it sounds like this again slowly. to F, G, A minor, then E minor, F, G, A minor, A minor, E minor, sorry, back to F, okay, so that's then the verse, so that was slowly, so I'll just do it at speed, so you know how it's supposed to sound, so it's... bar on each chord. Do you want to feel it? E minor, how it feels? Do you want to know, know that it doesn't hurt? F, G, A minor. Do you want to hear about the deal they're making? Then you're going back to your F there on the hear about the deal they're making and it goes into the pre-chorus which is the ooh, it's you and me here. So that starts off with an F there to C. Again, it's that the same finger picking pattern and it's actually a really easy change because with your F all you're doing is taking your little finger off and moving your second finger onto the D string of the same fret, the second fret. So again, slowly, that's C. So you just change it between there. And then you go into a D minor. And the picking pattern ever so slightly changes here in that we're just changing strings. So you're doing the same thing with your fingers, but we're playing the D string first for that root note, for the bass, for the D. And then your thumb, first and second finger, are playing the top three strings, so your E, B, and G strings. So it's... So again, that's... Then you've got your chorus, which is an F major 7, but you can do it by playing an F in the same way that you were during the verse, so your fingers don't need to change there. You can do it by playing your F, but just playing the top E string instead, the open E string. So, like you were doing the D minor, rather than playing these three strings, rather than playing D, G, and B, just play G, B, and E instead. So, it's still playing your root note, which is your, your A string. Now, if you're not that comfortable doing that and you just want to carry on playing your F, playing that pattern of not moving, that's absolutely fine as well. I don't think anyone's going to lambast you for, for playing an F instead of an F major 7. But I do think an F major 7 sounds nice in the chorus. It sort of adds that sense of tension uh, to the song, which I think is, is a really nice addition. So again, it sounds like this. If I only could G deal with God. Back to A minor. F major 7 G A minor no problems So if I only F G A 
And then I like to add a little embellishment here where I'm just putting my little finger, I'm playing the A minor, putting my little finger onto the third fret of the top E string whilst I'm playing the A minor and going... And then lifting it off. So again, I'm still doing the same picking pattern, but I'm just playing the top three strings instead of the D, G, and B. I'm playing G, B, and E instead. So again, slowly that's... See, I'm just lifting off that little finger there. And then you can go back to your normal pattern. So that is it for running up, the hill, running up that hill. It's it's dead straightforward. Again, the only sort of thing to add is um, during the come on, baby, come on, come on, darling, that bit, that's the same as the chorus, really. It's just F, G, and A minor. Come on, baby, come on, come on, darling. Let me steal this moment from you now. F. And then that's it, you're back into the main main bit. As I say, for the structure, do check out my uh, cover version of this that I did in a previous video. If you're just not sure of the arrangement, that's probably a good a good video to watch if you're unsure. Oh, and the only other thing is right at the end, where it does the only could have been run up that hill, that's played over an A minor. And then you just add in your little finger onto the third fret of the B string. And then lifting it off. So again, same picking pattern. Put your little finger on and off. on the A string and I'll say that's it it's it's a really great one to do again a good beginner song not that difficult um, but it sounds really good if you can get it right and make sure you get take the time with the finger picking to make it smooth uh, and feel happy with that but it's it's not that difficult really to uh, to get sounding good quite quickly so again I do hope that was useful if there's any comments you'd like to give me about maybe I didn't explain something quite as clearly as you'd have liked or want me to slow down or whatever then do please let me know in the comments because all feedback is good if you liked the video and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel if you would consider subscribing I really would appreciate it because it all does all help um, but yeah as I say I do hope that was very useful it's a great song uh, and I will see you in the next one